Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rachel Kleinman from rwcrafts.com. I'm here with Hero Arts today to share how I created this very sweet card that can be used for really any occasion as long as you just change the sentiment there. This card does feature the brand new Garden Gate cover plate die. And I am also using this uh, trifold Garden Birds fancy die from our spring release. I will not be creating a trifold card, but I will be using it in other ways to create the background that you see behind the garden gate. So first I am just straight die cutting this garden gate die on a piece of white cardstock. This was cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. So this will be a full front panel of the card. And now I'm using one layer of those trifold dies. I'm die cutting this piece out of meadow cardstock so you see there and then I'm also cutting out that piece with the little birds also out of meadow cardstock and there was another layer of just grass I opted to remove that layer from the card but you can certainly add it in if you would like and just to give some shading to these pieces I'm using my hero arts blending brush to add in some moss ink just around the tops of the edges and you see that I'm going over all parts of this panel here. It does not matter if I get green ink on the flowers or the birds because we will be covering those up later. So I just did a very quick no fuss blending on that. And then I will be cutting out just the flower parts of this first layer that I did from white cardstock. And you see that I'm reusing the white cardstock piece that was cut from the opening of the die. I am also cutting out of white cardstock the bird piece as well. So we will be coloring just the flowers from both pieces and the birds. And I do want to point out that I used the Deluxe Smooth white cardstock for this from Hero Arts. I find that I get the best results when I'm coloring with Copic markers on that paper. So I'm just doing a very, very quick speed through of how I'm coloring with the Copics. You see the numbers there. So I opted for some cute little blue Tweety birds. And I did want to keep both of my sets of flowers the same sets of colors. So you see I'm just doing various shades of yellow and then the orange in the middle. For the little bird's eye, I have this handy black gel pen that I'm just barely touching. But you see their little character really comes to life when you add their eyeballs. <laughs> so that's nice. So I did cut the other flower tops in the exact same colors as the little daisies. And I am just cutting out the individual flowers. We will be gluing those straight on top of the uh, meadow colored cardstock that we die cut earlier. You see, I'm being very careful because I don't want the stem in there at all. <laughs> and then we will just quickly glue them on. I do like to use my Hero Arts tweezers to help me grip with really small pieces like this, and of course I always, always, always use my Hero Arts glue. I do have four bottles of those glue on my desk right now, <laughs> so it's the only glue that I use. And I am also very carefully separating these little daisy flowers. If you own this die and if you have used it, you'll see that a good portion of them are already cut out. So really you're just cutting the part that is keeping them connected to each other. So it's really not as much fussing cutting as it might look. So now I'm going to match all of those daisies to where they belong on the meadow cardstock die that we cut earlier and glue them on. To speed up the process, you saw that I put glue on on a few little parts at a time so that I didn't have to move the glue every time. And then now I'm adding the little birdies. So I will be layering these pieces. So I'm putting the bird panel on top of the other flower panel, but just a little bit below so that there is a layering aspect to it. So I just glued those right on top. And they don't have to match per perfectly on the edges because you see that the edging of this die is pretty thick. So you have some wiggle room <laughs> so it doesn't have to be super clean and neat. This is just a cardstock panel to go on that brick area that you see. So I'm not spending a lot of time <laughs> coloring that. I'm just doing a somewhat messy gray color. 
and you'll see that once I back it onto the brick that it creates a nice pattern without being too clean or too fussed over. So I am gluing that down upside down. And really we're going to just work on now the layering of the scenery of this card. So get your glue out. <laughs> I do want to share that as I was making this, I was also thinking this garden gate cover plate would be so perfect for Halloween cards. If you had like a spooky haunted house in the background, you could add some bats to it. You could really shade it up to make it perfect for Halloween. Also for Christmas decorations, you could add maybe some little Christmas lights to hang around at the garden gate. This gate could really be used for, like I said in the beginning, any occasion, you just change out the sentiment. So you see that I glued the green panels and then I also used um, some Arctic cardstock for the sky and I just glued that to the back as well. So now for the sentiment, I pulled out this beautiful set from the spring release of Hero Arts. I believe this was the 2024 spring re release. And that stamp set is called Cosmos and Lavenders. Another stamp set that is so perfect for really any occasion quick card, especially sympathy cards, which are always hard to create and generate. So I just stamped Have a Good Day in granite ink. And I'm gonna use my Hero Arts little wire snippers there to get the matching die that I need. I hadn't used that one yet, clearly, so I had to cut it out. <laughs> And I'm running it through my handy dandy Hero Arts compact cutter. I do love this little cutter so very much. And now that that matching die is out with this stamp, there it is. I'll pop it right onto my card. Well, glue it onto my card, I should say. And that completes this card. Like I said, you can really use this garden gate for so many different occasions, and I really appreciate you watching this process. Thank you so much for being here. I hope I generated some ideas in your creative brain, and we hope you'll come by next time to watch the next inspirational video. Thank you so much. Bye.